In this video lecture, I will explain language accepted by a DFA. So consider the transition diagram or a DFA uh, and the start state here is Q0 and final state is Q2 and to start with the machine will be in the start state Q0 and let us assume that the string 1011 is the input. Okay, so this is the first string which we are checking. So 1011 is the input. Now machine is in the start state Q0. Okay, so first input is 1 and machine is in Q0. So current state is Q0. Input given to it is 1. So the next state is if I am in Q0, input 1 is given. The machine is going to Q1. Now the next input is 0. The machine is in Q1 and the input given to it is 0. So when machine is in Q1, 0 input is given. It remains in the same state Q1. And now input 1 is given to the machine and machine is in Q1. So machine is in Q1, input uh, 1 is given to it. Machine will go to the next state Q2. Now the next input is 1 and machine is in Q2. So machine, the current state is Q2. Input 1 is given. So when input 1 is given, so machine is in Q2 state. Input is 1, the next state is Q2 only. And now end of the input. And we are in machine is in state Q2. And this Q2 is a final state. So we will say when end of the input string and is encountered and we are in the final state. So that means that string is accepted by the machine. So we'll say this 1011 is accepted by the machine. Now let us take different example. This one 0101, 0100. So we'll take 0, 1, 0, 0. Okay, so machine is in start state Q0. We give input 0. So when machine is in Q0, input 0 is given. Machine remains in the same state. And then input 1 is given. Machine is in Q0 only. Input 1 is given. Machine is going to Q1. And then input 0 is given. Machine is in Q1. And if machine is in Q1, input 0 is given. Next state is Q1 only. Now the next input 0 is given, machine is in Q1 state, input 0 is given, machine remains in the same state, Q1, end of the input state, a uh, string and this Q1 is a non-final state. So this is non-final state. So when end of the input string is encountered and we are not in the final state, then we will say that this string, the particular string is rejected by the machine. So the first one is accepted and this one is rejected by the machine. So what will be the definition of a language? So language of a machine will be re uh, represented by L and it will be set of all the string. So this W is nothing but the string where W belongs to sigma star where sigma star will be set of all the string of all. I mean all the, the sigma star will be all possible length string and delta q naught w is is uh, it belongs to we'll say it belongs to it belongs to f so what is the meaning of this this delta this is nothing but uh, we call it extended transition function extended transition function so uh, in upcoming videos, I will uh, explain what is extended transition function. So for now, you should just know extended transition function. If I uh, give, uh, th th there will be the start state and some input means when we want to check whether the particular uh, string is accepted by the machine or rejected by the machine, then we'll be using extended transition function. So there will be two parameters. First one will be the start state of the machine and the next the string which we want to check whether it is accepted or rejected and if we are getting the final state we'll say that uh, it is accepted if we are not getting final state we'll say that it is not accepted so the language will be the language of the machine will be nothing but set of all those string w where w belongs to sigma star why sigma star because sigma star will give you set of all possible string of all the length and the transition function if I write the extended transition function, I should get the final state. So basically when we say 
uh, any string is accepted by the machine so after processing that uh, uh, string i will be uh, getting the final state if the string is not a valid one if it is rejected by the machine definitely after processing the string we'll be getting some non final state so that's why here this extended transition function is used to check whether the string belongs to the machine or it does not belongs to the machine so if i take extended transition function i get a final state that means it's a valid one so this language will be nothing but or in other words i can say the language will be set of all the valid string of the machine so valid string means the string which is accepted by the machine so this will be the definition and this is how we check whether a particular string is accepted or rejected by the machine so hope you have understood the concept thanks for watching